Welcome to the 2023 Palm Beach International Boat Show. Today we are at the Hughes Boat to check out one of the best flats boats on the market. That is the Hughes Red Fisher 16 foot. guys Ryan from Limit Salts here welcome back to another boat show walkthrough here at the Palm Beach Boat Show I'm very excited to be sitting on top of the polling platform here of the Hughes Red Fisher 16 an absolutely beautiful flats boat here at the boat show like every boat walkthrough we do though we are going to start up in the bow and make our way to the stern now one of the best features of a flats boat here is the amount of room that you have up in the front platform. So you can see there is tons of room to walk around up here. You can be casting off this way, you can be casting off that way. Tons of room, throwing casting nets, all that kind of stuff. Nothing you're going to trip on over here except for your one essential piece of equipment on flats boats. And that is going to be our trolling motor you can see mounted up here on the front. These trolling motors are essential when you are fishing the flats and that kind of stuff because instead of tossing on an anchor or anything like that to hold yourself in place, you can use this to uh, spot lock yourself and it's just gonna keep your boat exactly positioned where you want it. Or you wanna sneak up on the fish. Fishing the flats is all about being sneaky, being quiet, being stealthy. And you can accomplish that with the trolling motor. You're running in uh, like a foot of water or whatever it is. You trim up your motor, you throw in the, the trolling motor into the water, and then you take a nice stealthy approach to go get the fish. Now underneath me here, even though this is only a 16 foot boat, we still have a huge hatch because it is a fishing boat when it comes down to it. And it's essential to have lots of storage. So we'll open up this hatch take a look inside beautiful lots of storage room not going to be a fish well this is going to be more dry storage it's still essential that you have life jackets and everything on board you still need boat bumpers you're still going to need dock lines and with a 16 foot boat you're going to need to get creative sometimes of where you're going to be putting all that kind of stuff me i carry a lot of camera gear whenever we're going fishing and drones and everything like that fat packs foul weather gear all stuff you have to think about when coming out on a smaller boat and still going fishing for the day. This big hatch allows you to have that kind of storage. So over here, right in front of the helm station, we have our forward facing seating, which is a little smaller than the forward facing seating we are used to on our center console walkthroughs. We will give it a try here real quick. It is very comfortable, of course, and you don't really have to worry about blocking the point of view of the driver because on these kind of boats, the driver is most likely going to be standing up or they're most likely going to be standing up, especially if somebody's gonna be sitting here. But underneath me, we do have a cooler because you do need somewhere to put all your drinks, your food, your snacks, all that kind of stuff for the day. We can open that up. You can see decent sized cooler here for a 16 foot boat. And this is actually latched down by some hooks in the floor. So now we are going to take a look at the helm station. And if you look on the side, we have three rod holders conveniently placed over here. And we have the identical on the port side of the helm station. And we could come around over here. We could take a look at exactly what we're dealing with. Over here, they haven't put in the uh, Simrad or Garmin or anything like that, any your electronics would go right here. Or sometimes I've seen them mounted right on top over here. I haven't put that in here yet, but we have a beautiful matte finish steering wheel over here. And personally, I love it. Not seeing it on any of these boats, but a lot of times these flats boats, people will custom wrap some paracord or anything like that around the um, steering wheel. I think it's really cool, really custom look, makes them look really unique. We have our um, switches and everything right over here, our Yamaha display, because this boat is powered by Yamaha 115 on a 16 foot boat, yes. 115 horsepower, 16 foot boat. So this boat is gonna be going plenty fast with that power. If we take a look right underneath the helm station over here, we have, looks like a little storage, looks like a little unfinished right now. They gotta finish hooking up a couple things in here, but if you wanna throw a bag or anything like that, a backpack, maybe you wanna throw it in there. While keys, any of that kind of stuff, right in here would be a great spot for that. Now I can't fault them too much 
for not having a place for your phone because it is a little bit of a smaller boat, a little smaller area to work with. Maybe we'd have to put our own little custom little pad over here or something like that to hold our phones down when we're running 50 miles an hour through the flats, but we'll have to work on that with Hughes here. Now we are underneath looking at the side gunnels here of the 16 foot Hughes. And you can see we have a little bit of storage over here. Nice little added excess padding over here. So if you put your rods or anything like that, you're not slapping them up against the fiberglass. And if you look right next to me over here, we have holes that go into the front of the boats. So that is for your rod tips. So this can be used as rod storage. It can also be used as uh, for a net or boat poles or any of that kind of stuff. But if you do want to use it to hold your rods, stick the tips right in there, keep them nice and safe and sound, and you can fit those extra long rods right in there. Now, I absolutely love what they did here with the helm seating. So it's not going to be like anything with the bigger center consoles that we look at, but we have a nice little, like just like a bench sheet. I guess this would really just be a bench sheet is what it is. And um, we have a hatch underneath us, which we'll open up in a minute, but we have this really innovative backrest, which I really haven't seen on any of the older flats boats. And I certainly haven't seen on the other flats boats I've looked at, but this little backrest right here is very comfortable. It's multi-purpose because you can use this as a step up. So you come over here, you step up, and then you come right up to the polling platform right up here. And when you don't want to be using this as a backrest or a footstep, you can fold it up just like so and get it out of your way, which is very cool. You also, if you're like casting up here or anything like that, could just go ahead and lean up against it. Very comfortable option and multi-use backrest that's not in the way and very cool innovative feature here on the Hughes. So I just mentioned the polling platform, which if you watch a lot of my walkthrough videos, you might not be really familiar with what a polling platform is or what it's used for. This right here, this big black and gray platform is called a polling platform. You can access it by stepping up as we just showed you, or they also have steps on the side over here to hop on up. And what you're gonna be using this for is you're gonna have a big like 14, 18 foot um, pole that you're gonna mount onto the side of the boat. And when the water gets really shallow and you wanna be really sneaking up, up on the fish, you're gonna hop up here, you're gonna have that huge pole and you're gonna be pushing the boat around in the water really stealthily, really sneaking up on the fish. And you're gonna be, maybe you wanna cast off of here, but a lot of times you're gonna have the person pulling over here and then you'll have somebody casting up in the front of the boat. So that is what a pulling platform here is used for. Very cool. So underneath the bench sheet that I was sitting on here before, we'll open that up. And that's why these cutouts are here if you are wondering it. So you can open up this hatch open it up and this is your main fish well on this boat so you can take a look any of the fish that you end up catching and keeping when fishing on this flats boat here will be stored in here that front hatch up there that we showed you at the beginning of the video not meant to keep fish in and this is your main one because you're going to have some live wells and the other one is going to be some access so all your fish going right here we'll close that up nice and easily and we will took a look at some of the other hatches over here so we have a live well right over here. Nice big size live well. So it's very important to have a live well over here because a lot of the fishing down here in Florida and around most places, definitely want to be fishing with some live bait to give you that advantage and having a live well when fishing on the flats and fishing and pitching near mangroves and everything, very important to be using those live baits. So it's great that you have not only one live well, we take a look on the port side of the boat, we actually have a second live well as well. Now, of course, if you load up this first well right under here with the bench, somehow you load this up with fish and you need more room, you can maybe sacrifice one of your live wells and just throw it right in, but you're probably not going to need all of that room for fish. So we'll close these up nice and simply. Now, the starboard side hatch over there is not unfortunately going to be a live well, but it is going to be access right here to some of your pumps. So you have your power pole. Um, not exactly sure what it's for. I'm assuming it's a power pole pump. You have your fuel separator over there. And then there's a little bit of access to your bilge, but unfortunately, because it is a smaller boat, you're going to be working with some smaller spaces to access everything like that. Your bilge access is going to be way under here inside this little uh, cabinet. So you just open that right up. Your bilge access will be right in there. 
lastly on the boat here, we have our power pole right out the back. And if you're not familiar with power poles, basically it's an easier way to anchor. So there is a switch up on the dashboard here. You're just gonna flip that switch, power pole down, a little leg is gonna come shooting out here and hold yourself in place. So that way it's like a quick anchor. So if you wanna, you know your bait's right there and you're ready, just getting your casting net ready to, to load up to throw on top of them. You can just put the power pole down and simply just keep where you are. You also can keep yourself in the spot with the uh, spot lock on the trolling motor. Lots of options here. So some information here about this Hughes Flats boat. The total length is 16 foot 6 inches. The beam is 7 foot 3 inches. And the draft of the boat. The draft of the boat is very important. That allows you to run in the really skinny water. The draft is 11 inches. So very impressive 11 inches you can be running this 16 foot flats boat in. Now what's the price of these boats? Well, before I say the price, let me just say this. The Hughes boats are probably one of the best built flats boats on the market. They are up there. They are the top tier, top dogs. And let me tell you, they hold their value. When we've been taking a look on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and comparing the flats boats to Hughes, I can tell you that these people are asking like half the price for a 20 year old Hughes as it costs new. It is crazy, I'll be seeing these 2000 Hughes boats with two stroke engine on them and people will be asking 20 grand and people will be saying that's a great price and I'm saying you guys are out of your mind because that's a crazy price for a 23 year old boat so these boats hold their value this boat here the MSRP is $78,000 that is rigged with the power pole that is rigged with the trolling motor um, and a bunch of other accessories so you're getting a pretty good amount for your money compared to the used market but I don't know what the boat show price is. It doesn't say it on the uh, tag over here, but 78,000 is the MSRP for this 16 foot Hughes Redfisher. And that is going to wrap up the video here of this beautiful Hughes Flats boat. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Flats boat walkthrough. It's a little bit different than we normally do with the center consoles and all that kind of stuff. But if you guys did, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out a lot. If you own a Flats boat yourself or have any opinions on Hughes versus other brands, make sure you guys drop that down in the comments down below. I'm very very curious what you guys think about all these flats boats. Like I said, I really was looking forward to doing a walkthrough video of this huge flats boat here at the Palm Beach Boat Show, just because of how crazy they hold their value in the uh, resale market. So it's really cool to see um, the flats boat here in person, brand new here at the Palm Beach Boat Show. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you check out this boat walkthrough video on the left side of the screen, also from the Palm Beach Boat Show this year. Really think you guys will like that video. And until my next video, remember to keep living salty.